Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th, 2018. Now this is intended to be a love reading. This may not resonate with you as it's not a private reading, so just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I have done a general reading, so if you want to check that out, you can. It is about um, hurt, so your general reading is about hurt. <laughs> That's your hurt right there. You are hurt. This is a love reading. You're hurt perhaps over a connection that you had. You know, there's some kind of love that was there that I feel as it was said in the other reading that, you know, was has broken apart, okay? This card was here too, This, but it was a different deck. It was right in the, in the middle. These two cards were here. Anyway, um, this is your love reading. Now I'm going to make sure that this is zoomed in. Looks pretty good, don't it? Okay, so, the, you know, I think there's been some kind of change. There's definitely been a change, and I think that it was a divinely guided change that perhaps, you know, uh, it has made you feel insecure. You might be feeling insecure at this time. You may be feeling like you've definitely had a loss. Many of you have been through some kind of loss. You may be feeling rejected. You are going through some period of grief. At this point, you have your guard up. It's like, oh my God, you know, how could this happen? I thought this was true love. I feel like somebody has withdrawn from the situation. They could be very cold towards you, very um, mean. They are just, it feels like you are almost being attacked verbally, um, you know, and that things have reached a complete halt in a relationship. Now, I don't know who this is for. I'm sure it's not for every single cancer that is watching this, okay? This is for somebody. It's not for everybody. Somebody is, I feel like you don't want to quit. You're like, I'm not sure. I don't think I want to quit this right yet. I want to work this out. And I feel like the other person, whoever you're dealing with, is like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm gone. I'm leaving. And they're doing it in a very harsh way. I think you are being very, treated very harshly. Um, and they're really not even thinking about your feelings. And I see that you may be overly uh, emotional because of this, because it's such a shock. I see that there's a, a, a great deal of shock and there's there's some kind of, uh, you know, it feels like this person just wants to bring you down in some way. For some reason, they want to bring you down. They, they don't care about what you feel and that hurts. It really, really hurts. They're, they're on their way out, and they're, they're not being very nice about it, okay? I just feel like somebody is not being very nice at all. You could be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. But I feel like, you know, you... Uh, let me get some clarifiers here. Perhaps there was another person that was involved and this has come to light. I'm just saying. I have to throw that out there. You know, with that two of cups here, you could have a new partner on the horizon. Maybe that's why this happened. There could be definitely be a new partner and the person that you were with was blocking you from meeting this new partner. Okay? Because I see that you have a couple of choices here. You may have a choice between two people and I feel like, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I think that you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your future, but you're being blocked from this person, okay? Because it feels like, I mean, look at, the, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it feels like you are connected to one of these people, okay? Now, I don't know. I don't know. Now, this could be the person that ha is... Um, rejecting you as well I'm not sure there is some kind of rejection here I feel like in in the it's all for a reason okay I feel like it's because there's somebody else there's somebody else for you so do not despair which I feel like you are despairing I see a lot of despair a lot of hurt a lot of grief and I feel like you are gaining true growth at this time so take it as a period of growth 
I feel like there's been a third party situation. <coughs> Perhaps, you know? And that's what that's what I feel like it is. I feel like whoever you've been with now, um, or in the past recently has maybe made a choice in another direction. But but there's a reason for everything. Okay, there is a reason for everything. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? That's what we want to know. We want to know why did this happen. Because somebody wasn't putting in enough effort. Somebody didn't want to work on it anymore. Somebody just didn't want to be there. You know, it's like they felt like they weren't they weren't getting enough out of it. You know, they weren't being rewarded for their effort. They just they just gave up hope. Somebody gave up hope in the situation. They didn't want to work there anymore. They, you know, work on the relationship anymore. It felt like they weren't, there was no, they weren't having fun. They, you know, I think the friendship was falling apart within the relationship. And, you know, they were, it was like there was no gifts. They weren't feeling like they were receiving anything. And I was going to say gifts earlier. There was no gifts. And this just, this just clarified it because this is a gift from above. It's like there was no abundance in the relationship. They want a new, it's like there was no new growth. There was no um, uh, security. They just didn't feel secure in the relationship and the fact of the matter is, is there's a reason for everything. And I know that you guys have heard that before. I feel like that um, this all happened because you are meant to be with somebody else. And the other person that you were dealing with is too. And I know that you don't want to hear that. But... You're going to have to use your inner strength to get through this insecure time. Okay, I see you that you're feeling very insecure and very hurt. Very, very hurt. Okay. I feel like your self-confidence has took a nosedive because of this. You know, it's taken a big nosedive because somebody has rejected you and perhaps chose somebody else. But there is a reason, and I know you guys, I keep saying that, but temperance came up, I believe, in the other reading. And temperance is a reason for everything. Okay? There's a purpose. There's a reason for this. And that's why I keep saying that. I think you have a new soulmate that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you may think that it is one of these other people, but I think that's false. Okay, I think that's false. I feel like, you know, I mean, it could be these people. It could be either one of these people. But soulmates come in to our lives to teach us a lesson. They don't always stay forever. And we usually have more than one soulmate. I mean, this would imply that you have three, okay? So, uh, you know, you, we, all, we have more than one soulmate in a lifetime. That's my belief. You believe whatever you want. But I wanna, I'm going to tell you about these cards here. This situation involves marriage. Perhaps there's a divorce coming on the horizon. Perhaps you wanted to get married and they didn't. Or they wanted to get married and you didn't. There's something, the reason, one of the reasons why, or somebody goes back to their partner that they were married to before. Okay, there's something to do with a wedding here. Okay. Just saying. It's safe for you to love. And that's the thing. Is right now you're going through so much hurt. You may be feeling like, oh my God, I've just lost my soulmate. The fact of the matter is, I think you have another one. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Just because something didn't work out. Just because something didn't manifest the way you had hoped. Just because it, you know, has hurt. It's bringing you the true growth that's bringing you closer to your soulmate. This hurt is getting you ready for your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It's leading you closer to your soulmate. The hurt you're going through right now is bringing you closer to your true soulmate, which has been blocked. You've been blocked from meeting this person because of another person. Okay? That's what I see. And that's... You know, it's crazy the messages that come out. 
I'm going to get you one of my energy oracle cards for this love reading, and we're going to see what comes up. What do you have for the sign of cancer? Don't give up. This growth that you're going through, even if it hurts, is getting you prepared for your soulmate. Okay? The one that caused this hurt, it didn't manifest for a reason. Attachment. Woo! That makes sense, doesn't it? I'm going to read it. Oh, perceived need in the choice to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward forward is being stopped by strong attachments. I knew it. I knew it. I love it when this happens. I didn't, you know, it's true. This person that you're with now is the wrong one. And it's amazing that this shit happens. It really is. Whew. In the upright position, this card reveals that, th that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. That's true. You're attached to the wrong one. I knew it. I did. I just, I knew it. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or de desperation about the future. I'm going to hold that card up while I read it. See the chain at the wrist? Although you, were, although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits or people, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the chains that bind you could be of your own making. This card is telling you that it's time to take the action you need to break out of these chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. It is time to free yourselves from whoever is causing you this pain. So that you can move on to your new soulmate. You have a new soulmate. Free yourself. I think it's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Talk to you later.